Bois Lafayette, Raging Cajuns, and the Marshall Thundering Herd. We've got Marshall, nine and a half point home favorites in this game. Total sitting at 47 and a half, uh, pretty much across the board. It's been a very uh, tough stretch of football for ULL. Uh, clearly missing uh, Billy Napier a little bit, but missing more than that. Uh, really, their defense has struggled. Losses in three straight games against Rice, uh, UL Monroe, uh, and South Alabama for this uh, ULL team. They've definitely had a hard time. Offensively, they've really sputtered. Uh, the quarterback play from the uh, Chandler Fields uh, has been up and down. And then, of course, he gets hurt. And then uh, Ben Woldridge has to come in uh, in the game a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but really, the offense has just been a little bit stagnant, a little bit disappointing. Only 113th uh, in the country, 326 total yards per game. They're not running the football very well. They're not throwing it. They're not doing anything very well offensively, only averaging a little over 25 points per game, 94th in the country. Going up against a Marshall team that really has been very good defensively this year, giving up fewer than 20 points per game, 281 total yards per game, which is 12th in the country. So where are they going to be able to move the football, ULL? That's going to be the question here uh, on the road. Uh, Marshall uh, coming off a 28-7 win against uh, in their last game. It was against an FCS foe. Uh, we'll see if they can keep it going here. Uh, they lost to Troy before that, 16-7. to uh, and then Bowling Green, 34-31. So after that big upset they had against Notre Dame, it's kind of been uh, a bit of a dip in Marshall's performance, and they failed to cover in three straight. So uh, both of these teams have been in a little bit of a cold streak coming into this game. I, I kind of think, you know, it might be buy low on ULL. I mean, the betting markets are starting to crash on this team when you look at the fact that there are only two wins this year, Southeast Louisiana State and Eastern Michigan which really isn't saying a whole lot. But you look at it at Rice, uh, they ended up losing that game on the road against ULM. They lost on the road. So on the road, they've been struggling. But they, you know, the one loss was by four points. They played a South Alabama team that has clearly, I think, established themselves as one of the better teams in this conference. And they were right in that game from start to finish, losing 20 to 17. It's one of these situations where you like to think Marshall's the right side here because they look like they've played the better uh season so far they had the big win against Notre Dame but I've seen this before where when you get into conference play teams know each other well uh, and you get a situation where maybe you look toward the underdog this reminds me of the Mac where we saw Akron who was terrible early in the season they covered against Bowling Green uh, and we've seen some of these uh, Ball State as well you know when they played Northern Illinois they ended up uh, Northern Illinois looked like they were the much better team going into that game and Ball State beat them so it's tough to lay these kind of points to me, even with the better team, when you're just getting into conference play. So it's a tough game, but I lean ULL plus the points, and I lean to the under in this game. What do you think, C-Mac? Yeah, and this number's already moved. You know, I see nine and a half everywhere. Can we see 10? I don't know. Totals moved down a little bit. We'll touch. I'll touch on that real quick. I want the under here. Um, I know it's you see 48, even 47 and a half. I think so. OK, the Cajuns, even before solid defense, are an under team. You know, the last 38, 27 and 11 to the under. You, you just talked about how they're struggling offensively. I still think they're all right defensively. Obviously, they lost an OT to South Alabama and covered in that game. But Marshall been able, you know, the big game, it's Notre Dame. But I've been impressed with their defense and four and one to the under this year. Uh, so I like the under in this game. Let's get to the side real quick. Yeah, maybe if it gets over 10, this is a conference game. It won't be easy. You know, I like Henry Columbi, Columbi, however you say his name. He's been very good. They got a couple good receivers. Uh, Keaton, I forget the other guy's uh, name. He's been able to throw it around. But, yeah, I like the under here. And as much as I like Marshall, this might be creep up if it gets over 10. I might look the other way here with the, with the Raging Cajuns. Standalone game, you know, on Wednesday. Yeah, exactly. It'll be interesting to see if it's going to result in uh, something a little bit different here in terms of the result here now that we're getting into a conference season.